Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're all doing well. In today's short video, I'm going to show you how to finish a rope mat using a lashing. I usually stitch up the two ends of my mat in order to prevent it from unraveling. But a lashing is also a very convenient way of finishing a rope mat. A lashing is usually done by taking a smaller piece of thread or rope and then connecting all of the passes in your mat. I recommend that you use thread or cord that is of a similar color to the mat in order to hide it from sight. For this demonstration I'm going to use this thread which is a bit easier to see. To start tying our lashing, we're first going to travel to the spot where the two ends of our rope meet. At this point, we have one end here at the top and the other one here at the bottom. We're going to take a piece of thread and I recommend that you use some sort of a stitching or lacing needle in order to guide your thread around. You can do it by hand, but it is a bit harder to do. Now what we're going to do is take one end of our thread and we're going to tie it onto one end of our rope using either a constrictor knot or a clove hitch. Basically, as long as you tie your thread onto one end, you're good to go. So something like this. At this point, we're going to start wrapping around our passes. So the two ends plus the remaining passes in our mat. In a three pass mat, you would wrap around around four passes. So we go under all of the passes, then over all of the passes, then under again, And over again. And under again. And over again. You don't want to do these wraparounds too tight, they can be fairly loose since we're going to tighten everything together using some frapping turns. But for now, do a few wraps. The number of wraps determines how secure your lashing is going to be, but you don't have to overdo it. Just do it so that it looks nice. So, in my case, I think I'm going to be done now. Yeah, let's say that 5 wraps are quite enough. Now, we travel to the side where we started. And then we start doing frapping turns around the middle of our first and second pass. So, what you do is you travel between the two passes. like this, then wrap around, traveling between the two passes. And it should look something like this. And that's all we're going to do. We then move on the other side to the next two.
so the second and third pass and then do the same thing. Then travel on the underside again. And if you have any more passes, do more frapping turns. Like this. So you can see that I have done two frapping turns between each of the passes. At this point all you do is you tie your thread onto the other end. So in my case I'm again going to use a simple knot. You can use just an overhand knot, a clove hitch, a constrictor knot, it doesn't really matter. As long as it's secure, it's good to go. Like this. So guys, that's pretty much it for lashing a rope mat. I think this is an excellent way for finishing them and I hope it will come in handy for you as well. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.